Hello folks, welcome back. Welcome again to another episode of Devotees of Jesus. This is your host, Julian Phillips. Let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. God, you taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit. Grant that by the gift of that same Spirit, we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in your consolation. We ask this through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 16, verses 15 to 20. Then he told them, Go out to the whole world and proclaim the good news to all creation. He who is and is baptized will be saved. He who refuses to believe will be condemned. Signs like these will accompany those who have believed. In my name, they will cast out demons and speak new languages. They will pick up snakes and, if they drink anything poisonous, they will not be hurt. They will lay hands on the sick, and the sick will be healed. So then, after speaking to them, the Lord Jesus was taken, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. The eleven went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord continually worked with them and confirmed the message by the miracles which accompanied them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. and confirmed the message by the miracles which accompanied them. In the Catholic Church, today is a doubly special day. Today is the Feast of the Ascension, which for formality's sake will be celebrated again this Sunday. Today, May the 13th, I hope I said that right before yesterday, May the 13th, is also the Feast of Our Lady of Fatima. And on this day, I feel inspired to speak on the concept of miracles. Miracle, in its essence, means something that is awe-inspiring, really something difficult to grasp. So on this, on, should I say, in the year 1917, In a field in Portugal, near the location of Fatima, three children were having regular monthly contact with a lady. The lady told them about praying. The lady prophesied certain things for them. And it didn't take too long for talk to spread. What was going on here? It didn't take too long for crowds to assemble. It didn't take too long for the government and police to get involved. So there was a split consensus. Some believe these children were authentically experiencing the Blessed Virgin Mary. Others thought they were either frauds or delusional. So the Blessed Virgin Mary told these three children to, and if I remember their names, their names were Jacinta, Lucia, and Francisco. She told them to go out into a certain field and she would provide a sign that God was at work. These three children now had a following, a following of both supporters and hecklers. This day was a particularly rainy day, but this did not deter the children and the crowds seemed determined to either have their faith confirmed or have a good laugh at the children's expense. And in the field, the children dropped to their knees in prayer. Hecklers began to heckle in that day because they were just kneeling down in the field in the pouring rain. Very, very, very suddenly, in this driving rain, 
the sun appeared in the sky. Colors began dancing around the sun. The sun zigged and zagged quite unusually. And then the sun seemed to hurl itself towards the earth. People screamed in fright. And then in an instant, the sun was back in place and there was not, there were, all of the rain had stopped. This goes down in, I have to say, the history books as the miracle of the sun. This was witnessed by thousands of people. Yes, there were those who still insisted that there was no action of God here, that this was some sort of natural phenomenon, but those who insisted that were very, very small in number. The overwhelming consensus now was that God was at hand. So those who believed the children had their faith confirmed, and the vast majority of hecklers found themselves having to confess that God was at work. That happened in the year 1917. That is only a little more than 100 years ago. Next year, that will be 105 years. These things happen today. Jesus is telling us that he is active with us now. And on this Feast of the Ascension, we need to remember that Jesus is at the right hand of the Father in heaven. Jesus is pleasant, present in the Blessed Sacrament of the altar. And Jesus is also God, and therefore he is everywhere. This is a, a message that we need today. We live in times that don't that nobody in living memory can bounce off of. According to the history books, the last time the world went through something like this was with the Spanish flu during World War I. As far as I, I am aware, there's no one alive with any memory to, to walk us through this. But that is okay. We have Jesus to walk us through this. Also, for me, on a personal note, in the year 2009, I, Julian Phillips, was held up at gunpoint in March. And on May 13, 2009, I was held up at gunpoint for the second and last time. I remember that day very well, and I remember pleading to God that he put things such that I never had a gun in my face again. It's been 12 years, 2009 was 12 years ago, and God's been good to his word. God's been good to his word with me. When I said that prayer, 2009 I meant it and I just resigned myself that the only one who could ensure that my prayer was answered was God himself I spoke to you all not too long ago about giving up and resigning yourself there is no authority higher than the Father, Son, Spirit the buck stops right there there is no higher court of appeal beyond that God has allowed Notice I said he did not approve. I don't know whether he approved, but God has allowed us to be in pandemic mode for more than a year. He knows what he's up to. You yourself, I myself, and our humanness, we only see so far. We have wants and desires. We have wants and desires that the pandemic seems to have put us up to, but that is a mirage. That's not true. Take your concerns to the Father, Son, Spirit and leave it there. He's the only one that can ensure that what you would like to see comes to pass. And on this day of Our Lady of Fatima, let us remember we have the most beautiful, intelligent lawyer, advocate to plead our case, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God. We pray to the Blessed Virgin Mary that she take our petitions to the Father, Son, Spirit. 
and as we are now truly on a should i say eve of the novena of the holy spirit countdown we call on the blessed virgin mary in particular to access the help of the helper so we pray to the helper again as we say come holy spirit fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth let us pray O God, you taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit. Grant that by the gift of that same Spirit, we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in your consolation. We ask this through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Fatima, Our Lady of Good Counsel, pray for us.